Hi everyone, how's it going? Uh, so I got this album done for you. Um, it's called The Good Eats Mini Album. The reason I called it that is because of the paper stack that I used. Ugh, excuse me. Um, Alright, so first of all, real quick, this is the cartridge that I use. It is the Simply Charmed uh, Cricut cartridge and it has a lot of cute images of food. Actually, I'll just go ahead and show you right here. Um, and so I use a lot of the ones down here, like the pizza, um, and I had plans for a lot of other ones, but I ended up actually making a lot of homemade embellishments. So I used this one, and as well as the Hello Kitty font cartridge for some of the stuff in here. Uh, and then here is the Good Eats stack. I pretty much when I wanted the llama paper, um, a while back, I knew I wanted this one, and... I was trying to wait for ideas to come to my head to see what I wanted to do because I just love this paper stack so much and it actually created a lot of inspiration and so um, there's some fun tags in there again double sided which kind of makes me sad because I love every single pattern on this paper and when you do mini albums you have to choose which side to use and it's like this taco one it has like little cheese slices on the back, but also has tacos on the other side. I mean, come on, you can't make me choose. And this waffle heart and the waffle paper, it practically makes me want to cry. <laughs> and so, uh, anyways, like this little egg ones. I mean, there's still a lot in here I haven't used. I only used eight sheets of paper from here. And um, I used a few from the sweet paper stack from DCWV, probably about... Oh gosh, maybe five, six years ago, maybe even longer than that. But it was sitting in my stash forever. And so um, for the cover, I did use um, this paper from Nana's paper stack. I know the front is a little bit busy. I realized that after I put it all together. But nonetheless, I still love the inside of this album. And so I embellish it with some little donuts here. Oh, and some of these little donuts are from the um, Doodlebug something sweet stack uh, but anyways um, I add a little bow over here and some banners and then um, I have a little cutout in here um, as you can tell if you've seen my last few mini albums I've been obsessed with that and then I added some trim from the dollar store <clears throat> as well as on the side some uh, more trim from the dollar store and then here's the back it's that really shiny glittery paper from Nana's paper stack or Nana's kitchen all right and here's the fun part. So when we open it up, um, I actually used, if you haven't seen her channel yet, you should go check it out, Your Book of Memories. Frances, she has a tutorial on her envelope mini that she does. So I did this. And so Frances, thank you for that, for showing everybody how to do that. And then I have some dollar store stickers from here. And again, I love these ones. Didn't know what to do with them until I saw this paper stack. So uh, this paper back here is from the Sweets, card, or Sweets paper stack from DCWV a while back. And then uh, here I added that sticker, a little journaling tag, and some donuts. And I pop dotted this donut. And then when you open it up, again... I got this idea from Frances. She does this. She does a lot better job than me, by the way. <laughs> but she, um, this is one of her pullouts, and she does ha handmade journaling. So I thought I'd give it a try. And then there's the back of it, just the uh, regular paper. And then with this, you can actually fit a photo in there. It has um, some, um, what is it? Uh, plastic paper. Oh, gosh, can't pay a... Uh, Ah, transparency film, that's what it is, right here um, inside the uh, slider. And then uh, this is from the Doodlebug stack again. And then I added these donuts <clears throat> just to kind of go with the paper on the, on the back. And so when you open it up... Um, I made these little tacos myself, and oh my gosh, let me just tell you, I'm so, <laughs> I was so proud of it. And so, um, I actually just used a circle die, and then a whole bunch of tiny little scraps, and the brown in the back is um, a scallop punch. And so I just kind of made my own little taco, and I was like super excited when I <laughs> saw what I created. I felt like Frankenstein, like, I did it. <laughs> and so I created this little banner with um, the word favorite. Again, it has some transparency film on there so you can slide a picture in. For this uh, pull out, it's just another dollar store sticker from that collection. Here's the Hello Kitty cartridge. And when you pull it out, 
Um, the insides will look the same, but the papers are just different. And so uh, you should go check out Frances' video. I mean, it's really easy how she did it. And here's the taco page I love. So I kind of based the taco off of this image and uh, added little some, uh, oh, I added some pearl, flatback pearls up here. And then for this page, um, you can add more photos in the back, but I left the pizza open. And of course, so it just says home slice. And uh, this is from the Simply Charmed cartridge. And I created a little dangly charm in there and um, you guys are probably going to get real sick of seeing these because I freaking love my fuse tool. It is the best thing pretty much that has happened in my scrapbook room. And so for this page again some flat back pearls. We got those stickers and then here's the back. I just put some pizza on there and the inside and I also uh, for some reason I couldn't find a pretzel in any of my cartridges so I had to make my own so I cut this out freestyled it and drew it uh, again here's a little some pizza and um, hamburger that I did so here's the hamburger again I just use a circle punch cut it in half and then um, a little bit more than half actually and then I flipped the, this flat part right here so the curve is on the back for that tan bun and then I just use my um it's actually a good way to use your decorative scissors because um it used up a lot uh, not a lot of scraps but it helped me move some of my scraps along so there's an idea for that and then there's the little pretzel and I added these flat back pearls to kind of give the look of um salt and then here is my pepperoni pizza there is a lot of sauce around the edge um because I didn't have any circle punch that was bigger than that that kind of fit in right there so that's on my next list and then I use just a hole puncher to get these little pepperonis on there and so uh, yeah it was super fun to make those homemade embellishments and so uh, here's this page it says all American uh, again I got that from the Simply Charm cartridge and I used this little tool I have I don't know crinkler I guess to make a little chip bag and I free cut these hot dogs and added some liquid pearls there as the mustard uh, so there's some more chips as you can see they're like dimensional oh and this paper is really glossy so I love it uh, and then there's that same pizza from this page actually cut it up and made some little slices of pizza so I had some more embellishments <clears throat> so that that's another idea um, I just had a flood of ideas with this album so for this little insert here's these two pages and then oh, I added the same trim here as you see on the inside and the outside of the album for some reason that roll had a lot of trim so, <laughs> so I had to use it somewhere so uh, for this one um, I kind of messed up on this little embellishment it's supposed to be lemonade but I didn't really like the way it turned out but I just put it on this page it says tasty with another hamburger embellishment right there so for the last page um, I decided to end it with the word good eats um, so the hamburger is from the Simply Charmed cartridge. You have my little embellishments that I made and I did pop dot some of this title. I don't know if you can see it. Like on the good part I pop dotted the O and the D and this one I pop dotted the E and the T for good eats. Alright. Then when you open this up. Oh, there we go. And there's uh, two more spots for photos. So um, yeah, I was really super excited to make this album. And like I said, go check out Francis at Your Book of Memories here on YouTube. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the album. Bye.